Good Thursday morning to you from Church of the Good Shepherd here in Cashers. As always, great to be your partner in prayer as we lift our hearts to the Lord. So let's do that this morning, centering ourselves, and then we'll begin. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous, and all the peoples have seen your glory. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy on our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, in Christ you make all things new. Transform the poverty of our nature by the riches of your grace. And in the renewal of our lives, make known your heavenly glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We continue reading from the letter to the Hebrews, now in chapter 10, verse 1. Since the law has only a shadow of the good things to come, and not the true form of these realities, it can never, by the same sacrifices that are continually offered year after year, make perfect those who approach. Otherwise, they would not have ceased being offered, since the worshippers, cleansed once for all, would no longer have any consciousness of sin. But in these sacrifices, there is a reminder of sin year after year. For it is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. Consequently, when Christ came to the world, he said, Sacrifices and offerings you have not desired, but a body you have prepared for me. In burnt offerings and sin offerings you have taken no pleasure. Then I said, See, God, I have come to do your will, O God. In the scroll of the book it is written of me. When he had said above, you have neither desired nor taken pleasure in sacrifices and offerings and burnt offerings and sin offerings. Then he added, See, I have come to do your will. He abolishes the first order to establish the second. And it is by God's will that we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our canticle today is a variation on the 23rd Psalm. Not the Lord is my shepherd, but for those who have been on the sea, the Lord is my pilot. The Lord is my pilot, I shall not drift. He lighteth me across the dark waters. He steereth me in deep channels. He keepeth my log. He guideth me by the star of his holiness for his name's sake. Yea, though I sail th amid the hungers and tempests of life, I shall fear no danger, for thou art near me, thy love and care, they shelter me. Thou preparest a harbor before me in the homeland of eternity. Thou anointest my, the waves with oil. My ship rideth calmly. Surely sunlight and starlight shall favor me in the voyage that I take and I shall rest in the port of my God forever. Our 
Our second reading is from John chapter 5. Jesus said to the Jews, I can do nothing on my own. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. If I testify about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that his testimony to me is true. You sent messengers to John, and he testified to the truth. Not that I accept such human testimony, but I say these things so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and you were willing to rejoice for a little while in his light. But I have a testimony greater than John's. The works that my Father has given me to complete, the very works that I am doing, testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. And the Father who sent me has himself testified on my behalf. You have never heard his voice or seen his form, and you do not have his word abiding in you, because you do not believe him whom he has sent. You search the scriptures, because you think that in them you have eternal life, and it is they that testify on my behalf. Yet you refuse to come to me to have life. I do not accept glory from human beings, but I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I have come in my Father's name, and you do not accept me. If another comes in his own name, you'll accept him. How can you believe when you accept glory from one another and do not seek the glory that comes from the one who is God alone? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. Your accuser is Moses, on whom you have set your hope. If you believe Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about me. But if you did not believe what he wrote, then how will you believe what I say? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Three different prayers today. The first from the liturgy of St. Mark in the second century, let us pray. We render unto thee our thanksgiving, O Lord our God, Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. By all means, at all times, and in all places, for thou hast sheltered, assisted, and supported, and led us on through the time past of our life, and brought us to this hour. And we pray and beseech thee, O God, loving Lord, Grant us to pass this day, this year, and all the time of our life without sin, with all joy, health, and salvation. And from Matthew Henry in the 17th century. O Lord, prepare for us all the events of this day. Prepare us for all the events of this day. For we know not what a day may bring forth. Give us grace to deny ourselves, to take up our cross daily, and to follow in the steps of our Lord and Master. Amen. And by a prayer by David Adam for the work that we do every day. The sacred three be over me with my working hands this day, with the people on my way, with the labor and the toil, with the land and with the soil, with the tools that I take and the things that I make, with the thoughts of my mind and the sharing with mankind, with the love of my heart, with each one who plays a part. The sacred three be over me, the blessing of the Trinity. We went a little bit out of order. Let us now uh, say the, pray those words that Christ has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever.
Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all forevermore. As always, great to be with you. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Be well, be faithful, be healthy, and I'll see you next time.